What's up, Lantern fans? It's the Emerald Enthusiast, coming at you once again with another Green Lantern product review. This time I'm taking a look at the Mattel, DC superhero girl's doll of Green Lantern, Jessica Cruz. This doll is from the DC Superhero Girls episodic show that aired on Cartoon Network. It's one of the most difficult to find in the line, so let's take a closer look at the package details now. The packaging is a basic bubble and card design. You can see the artwork here. It's interesting it says Jessica Cruz and not Green Lantern. There's some stars on the side molded into the plastic. The bubble allows you to see both the figure's head and the feet. On the back, we get some artwork of Jessica Cruz, as well as a product shot of some of the other figures available in this line. As a collector, I do like this basic approach to the packaging. The figure is held in place by ties around her hair, waist, and boots. And here's a better view of those. And so I appreciate that the doll doesn't flop around within the packaging. I do wish that the front artwork was smaller to allow a greater view of the boots. But I'm still satisfied with the overall appearance. And now let's get a look at a loose Jessica Cruz doll. And here we see Green Lantern Jessica Cruz out of the package and ready to rumble. As both a toy and a collector piece, I think that there are numerous things to like about this doll, although there are areas that could have used improvement, so let's take a closer look at the loose details now. First of all, I don't want to confuse anyone. The figure stand and the personal power battery do not come with this doll. I bought these later to enhance my display of this doll. What you see before you now is all that is included with this Jessica Cruz doll. Here's a look at the lower body. And the figure is sturdy, and I certainly appreciate that. Here's a closer look at these white boots, and this is accurate to Jessica on the show. And these do slip off, and it does take a little bit of work. And here's a look at one of the legs without the boot. And there is this slit in the back, and you just slip these off. These are both functional and visually pleasing. I really like the way the tops of the boots have been sculpted. Jessica has a very stylized look on the show, and I really like this cosmic, glittery vibe that we get from the black sections. The uniform is soft goods. In terms of articulation, you can get her to kick forward this far. She steps back to a very small degree, as you can see demonstrated here. And you can move the legs out from the hips this far into the split position. I think that's adequate. Here's a close-up of the green lantern symbol and the top of the uniform. Although I like this overall, there is this gap in the sides here. The black sections on the arms are part of the plastic. They're not connected to the green section. For kids who'd like to take the uniform off, there is this Velcro piece in the back, as you can see here, and this separates. I don't know how difficult it is to get the uniform off. I've never tried it. But even though this symbol is screened instead of sculpted, I do like the way that it came out. It's very clean looking. Let's have a closer look at the arms now. And they are lacking in articulation, I will say that. And I think even some kids might be disappointed that she doesn't have elbow joints. These gauntlets actually do come off. They slide back on the arms easily, although I would worry about a very small child possibly swallowing one of these. So exercise caution if you're a parent or guardian. The ring is a separate plastic piece that is held in place by this clear rubber band. 
Mattel shaped this into a starburst pattern that denotes the green lantern energy coming out of the ring. In terms of articulation, the arms rotate at the shoulders. You can get them to do a 360, as you can see demonstrated here. You can also get them to move backward and forward. And there is rotation at both of the wrists. Here's a closer look at the head sculpt, and I think this is the biggest strength of this doll. In particular, they got the green lantern symbol around the eye correct, which is a very unique character trait of Jessica Cruz. Here's a closer look at that, and the paint applications are outstanding. Perhaps you don't like this kind of stylized look, but I watched this show with my youngest child, and we both enjoyed it. Here's a look at the sculpt of the head, and overall, I think they did just an outstanding job here. The hair looks very realistic. I like the vibrant green streaks in the hair. The head moves side to side easily. It moves up and down, and you can get her head to tilt considerably in both directions. And for me, that is a huge positive for this doll. I certainly hope you have enjoyed this review. If so, please share this video with your friends and make sure to subscribe to this channel. I would certainly appreciate it. And I'll be back to the internet with more Green Lantern related content soon. But until we meet again, this has been the Emerald Enthusiast, and thanks for watching. <laughs>